Hey, welcome to the stream. It's uh, the end of the week at last. All right. Uh, what do I usually say? Yeah, thanks for clicking if you're watching on YouTube later. Hope you're enjoying. That's the thing I say. Okay. I'm debating on hmm, whether or not to explore this area in full or just go straight to Gerudo. Thinking, thinking, thinking. <laughs> I'll help the president in the time being. I would imagine this one might be a bit tricky because there's limited materials around here. Okay, that should stop it from falling forward. Huh. How am I going to do this? Hey, Lola, what's up, man? Is there really no building materials here? Uh, I mean, there's, there's random stuff. Okay, hold it up. Oh. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna work. Not a lot needed a breather from Diablo. Oh, fair enough. Hmm. Okay. Kind of work. Let's try it. Let go. It worked. Cool. How's the president standing? <laughs> I did my best. Have you been playing more of your main, or did you play a bit of your alt character? <laughs> Good, that's, that's actually very useful. Is this dude just into getting strange mushrooms? Like, he just seems to have this massive collection of puff shrooms. Just grinding on the main, so much grinding. I can imagine. Yeah, I'm pacing myself a bit with it. Assassination. Let me see, did I mark anything in the... Okay, I'll go do the shrine at the very least, but then afterwards I'm just gonna... I think go to the town and start proceeding with the quest. I'll probably play some Diablo later, so... Just first get my... Progression with this. Now it's chicken in time. What, what'd you get? Like... Just some regular ones, or... Are we talking flavored here? 
That's a... I haven't fought the, fly, the fire one yet. How am I for Lionel bows? I have a five shot one. Yeah, I just don't want to waste it. What about arrows? No, I have 14 arrows. I can't fight that. Huh? Huh? The mask isn't going off, so is this even anything? Guess not, it's just indicating this is a Yeager thing. Yeah. Dun 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 dun! <laughs> hey, Coloran, how's it going? Fine, fine, fine. Not realize this sooner, but the fact that you can do that. Ah! Um. Okay, hold up. Equip the good stuff. We don't need cold resist right now. What else have I got? Oh, Jesus, that's fine. Oof, this one is giving me a bit of trouble. Yeah, I mean, I was just wrapping up my work week because it's a long weekend this week, and so I had a bunch of stuff to make sure it was done. This next week's kind of important. And then got some. Ah! Dinner. Got some dinner. I got some dinner. That's what I was trying to say. Oh, piss off. What an asshole. Alright. Wanker. You don't like the way I swim up that thing. Yeah, I mean, it's supposed to... Wait, this is a different heart, is, is it? <laughs> this looks different. That may have been a different talus. What did I have for dinner? Uh, I just went and got some takeout. I got some dumplings. Because it had been a while, so. Uh, what have I got? I mean, I could attach it to the blade, but I'm not sure I want it. I need to find out if we get a house, because I want to put some of these weapons on decoration. I don't want to destroy, like, some of these ones. Um, but see, both of these will drain my health, which I guess is not necessarily a bad thing. So let's... Rare Stone Talus Hammer. Okay, that's a stick that does 83 damage. That is... That is, uh, I think that's gonna be my boss killer. Dumplings are good. They are. They're one of my favorite things. So I got one. I mean, the blend they call it. They call it like a shepherd's purse on the menu. I don't know. But uh, chicken, uh, mushroom, and like little pieces of shrimp. 
and then a bunch of uh, herbs and stuff, so they're damn good. Found the light dragon last night, you've been on it all night and still on it farming all the items you need. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Yeah, nothing wrong- hey, nothing wrong with that. Honestly, if I was, uh, not streaming, I would probably do the same thing. In fact, I'm almost positive I've done something along those lines at some point. Work smarter, not harder, something like that. But sometimes you have to do that. I mean, the alternative is... Uh, just things taking an eternity. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a... Let's go for short-term solution quickly while I make it, but that'll give me a minute. Um, where are the ice like? Okay. There we go. The talons are hard trying to get it before they fly off. Oh yeah, I would imagine they're probably one of the harder ones. Okay, I'm not gonna fight this thing. I don't have the arrows. I definitely have the ability, I just don't have the arrows to do it. You need arrows. I will fight one eventually. Oh, yeah, I mean, just... Ugh, man, so glad to have this work week wrapped up, and the fact that it's a long weekend. bunch of, uh, like, cases to put my loose Game Boy games in. So, ones that have, like, they look like the Nintendo DS game cases, but they've been custom made, so it fits a standard Game Boy cartridge in it. And I got them, and it looked good. So now they're not just in this box thing. I'll get more, because I didn't get enough for all of them, but they look pretty good when you print a cover and put it on. Talk about childhood regret, I would say, like, not keeping those boxes. <laughs> but I guess even if I did, they were made out of cardboard, so they kind of get ruined easily. So it's, it's kind of nice to see them just in packaging. You don't get a day off until July. Well, after this, for me, the next public holiday is September, so... Public holiday drought. about these games because they're just kind of loose so that I, I kept them in <laughs> in uh like one of those bags intended for lunches I was keeping them in that before and then keeping them in a little a little box so now that they're in cases that can go on a shelf they're less likely to go missing Just seeing some of that artwork is so nostalgia. So nostalgic. Nostalgia. 
I can't speak well because I'm tired, so English not good. <laughs> What's a public holiday? Well, even if you don't have a day off, at the very least, I, I would assume you get paid differently, so there's that as a silver lining. Wooden Ford. It's a springboard. Okay. Is this just... Yeah, just giving... Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> I don't... I don't think... I don't think that was the... Yeah, you know what? Well, let's just move on. Um... But I, I think I need that. Okay, I can reach it. That's fine. You got attacked on the dragon. Oh, by, um... Forget what those sky enemies are called. They still chase you. Okay, this is more the intended solution for this. Not whatever heinous thing I just pulled off. Hey, that's, that's an excellent find. I needed more arrows. Okay, so let's try and not make this horrible. Um, I mean, I would assume. Reset it to the neutral position and then just springboard, right? Okay, didn't do it strong enough. But I mean, I can make a bridge out of this, I think. Not that power. Alright, that works, I guess. Let me use a stick that's not this. I don't want to lose this. Uh, yeah, you'll do. Wait, what am I doing with this exactly? Oh. But I mean, I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that, I don't think. Hmm. Okay, this is silly. It wants me to do something convoluted, but listen. Work smarter, not harder. I mean, I get it. <laughs> it's just... It wanted me to do a catapult type thing with the button.
but I could also do that, and I think I'm happy with that. That that was the only shrine I spotted out from a distance. How many am I up to now? Oh, yeah, I'm well past the 120 now. But I guess that makes sense. I did assume there'd be more. Okay, hold on. Uh, equip the stick. There we go. I gotta get the Gerudo clothing. Yeah, I mean, I don't really see anything else. Alright, I'm just gonna head to the valley now. Under? Oh! Yeah, right. These- these are a thing. I think I have an... Either I have enough or I'm three short. For another bow. Oh yeah, I should be getting these. Definitely want more of these. Oh. Kind of going the wrong way. I'll eventually ride that dragon and farm it. I don't know. I don't know what I have against the champion's tunic. It's not that it's a bad piece of armor, I just think it's aesthetically boring. I don't know why. I guess because I associate it with vanilla. Because it's in all the, all the cutscenes and it's, it just, it's just default stock standard. I would imagine the other dragons are more annoying to do because they shoot stuff at you. But they go into they go down um into the the depths eventually, so I'm not sure you can do it the same way. Because the sky dragon stays in the sky, whereas in the others they kinda at some point head downwards. So I'm not sure if it's as easy to stay on it. I mean, you can still ride them, it's just at some point they're going to be going down. Straight down. Uh, should I dive? Maybe I should dive into this, because I, I keep neglecting to dive down these pits. Just hung onto the lightning one while going down. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Huck. 
Get it. Get it. Get it. Hit it. One of you. <laughs> I don't want to waste this weapon. This weapon is just survivability. I'll just... Oh, wait. That's a shrine. That is also a Mulduga. And now it's become cold. Alright. Um, just do the inverse. There we go. more. Oh, that's nice. I need more shock for it. I noticed that they don't have Jurians in this game. I think they may have removed them. Because those were the best hearty uh, food. They don't seem to be in this game. Oh no. Oh no. But the. Ah, uh, little guy. I mean, I wish I could. It's just. There's a bit of an, there's a bit of an issue. Alright, let me do the shrine first. Just a, a little bit of a roadblock. Moving the spheres. thing again or am I am I am I just solving this in a manner where it's just quicker but not necessarily the way they intended to be very careful not to drop it on my head. Even if it falls down. Fuck. Even if it falls down. It's fine. Wait, I don't even have to do this though. It's just... Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I wanted me to do something clever. I'm sure, I'm sure it did. I didn't see a chest anywhere. I can't be bothered. <laughs> Alright, out. But there are other shrines where we've had to do that, go through a ball, so I just used that. Another, almost another two hearts. I'm still thinking about whether I want to try and find all the Korok. I mean... I'm guessing there are over 900 this time. Okay. You know what? It's a good thing I didn't do the Korok thing first, because this would have uh, sucked. <laughs> it's just immediately. The aimless spirits of slain monsters return to the flesh. The world is threatened once again. Excellent. All right. Now that won't happen for a while. At a certain point, I still have that fear that the game is just going to get completely corrupted like in Breath of the Wild. Oh, ooh. How am I going to do this? How does this work now? Because in Breath of the Wild, the way you fought this thing... It was by throwing bombs down, but that's not a reality anymore. Hmm. I need to think about this for a sec. So it's sensitive to sound, what can we do? Zonite device, maybe? Bomb arrow. No, but it needs to be a bomb that goes on the ground. Because it needs to roll along the ground and we need to make it eat it. Yeah, how would I do that now? That's probably a simple answer to this. You can't- if I throw it, it explodes, so it's not bombs. What is it this time? Okay, hold on. Let's try random shit. These were the things that were nearby. Okay, that's the answer. Classic, like, the answer is right there. Excuse me, get away. Yeah. 
Why'd it go into shield mode? It's fine. I have high armor. I mean, the start of the fight, I think, was fine. I forgot to take a photo of it. Sorry, there were plenty of opportunities to do that. Okay. What's that? Mulduga jaw. Okay. Thirty two attack power, pretty decent. Nah, oh. eh, who cares about shields, although it's a better one. Okay, now we can help little friend. Nearby. I mean, I guess the start of the fight is straightforward. It's just a matter of what do you do afterwards to prevent yourself getting hit. It's not even the end of the world if I get hit, to be honest, because as long as I'm wearing this clothing that has high armor values, we're fine. There's, there's nothing wrong. Oh my god, I didn't realize this Starnox horn. Um, it kind of wiggles a little. The skulls kind of move. That is creepy. Cool, but creepy. should just work, right? Yeah, okay. Kinda. Not really. Probably because it can't do hills. As long as it works on flat land, it's fine. <laughs> Does not. Hmm. Maybe I have to do this. Okay, it's the angle that matters. There we go. It has to be angled down. I say sinkholes. Wait, did I turn turn off gyro aim? What's going on? They're enabled, so why is it? Huh. It's not aiming this thing. Oops. I 
think the meat got cooked. That's straightforward. That's 35. We're due for another upgrade. Okay. <laughs> the photos I had to take for the monster posing. Kept my good photos. Already got vault fruit. I can't believe how simple this was. How much I was trying to overcomplicate it by trying to shoot it. When a simple examine before it, it disappears. Mate stuck to the vehicle. <laughs> Is this wolf being for real? Like it's coming back for more? After I just turned one of them into a stake? Yeah, good, good work. Good work, dickhead. Oh, these things are still here. I need a photo of them. Uh, it's gonna be time to swap weapons in a minute. Alright, get out of here. Okay, uh... Got oh, the president's over there. In the middle of the desert. The light dragon has no fangs, really? That's strange. I should have taken a picture of the Sophlina. Yeah, you just shoot him in the mouth. Just the teeth part. They should be glowing as well. Mm -hmm. 
Shit. It does not it say? I don't know. I'd have to see it. I would find it weird if that was the only dragon that didn't have anything. It's even hotter. That's not keeping me cool. Ah. Hang on. I wonder if this is a thing. doesn't work. Okay. Then... Shit. This is not good. I need to get to the town as soon as possible. <sighs> is there really nothing else I can build with? Okay, you know what? You don't have time to look around. Make it night time, that's a good idea. Well, for fuck's sake. to the side because it's angled. No? Okay, fine. Good. Perfect. Ah! Ah, the ah! Mm. Mm. Such a random place to put a sign, dude. Resistant. That should get me over the line. I think we can get to the town in four minutes. Once I have the clothing, the food's gonna be largely irrelevant. I'm surprised this isn't a cave. Mon I can use it for monster collection. I mean, they already murdered it, but I didn't even consider those. Where's my vehicle? Did it just destroy my... Okay, it destroyed my vehicle. Cool. Hang on. 
for aesthetics. <laughs> it's also a good surfing shield. Concerning. Saran don't you there? Okay, now you can do it. Oh, it doesn't let you. Don't want to go into that. Looks like I may have to get shot out of the cannon to get into the town. Oh, these assholes. following me. It's following me. Okay, you want to be a dickhead? Ah. Ah. They broke him free, didn't they? The sages are great, but sometimes they're just dummies. Alright, leave him. Don't touch him. Don't, don't touch him. Just leave him. Imagine who would eat frozen meat like that. I, I never understood why it's a dish and it just doesn't become an ingredient. It's a bit weird. Hello, Romulus. How's it going? Is that a mushroom?
it's a glowing mushroom? What is this? I have a bad feeling about this thing. Don't know why, but I do. Ominous mushroom. I think this is stone, but no matter what I do, I can't put a dent in it. Yeah, maybe let's not mess with the uh, ominous sand mushroom. Oh, the... This is almost dried up. Uh, I think we're good. I might go back and just quickly get another bow slot. So I think I have enough for one now. Uh, woke up in Aragon now, you hear? Well, welcome. Yeah. I just finished work, like, about an hour ago, so... Well, dinner after work, but... Long ass day. Okay, I can put this away for now. Um... that for now. Okay, well that was straightforward. Steering wheel. Ow. Oh. Dude. <laughs> There's a steering wheel. I already know what I'm doing. I mean, I know what it wants me to do. I, I really do. Let's see if I can make this thing without messing it up this time. Use that as bracing. I should have got the fan the wrong way around. Hang on. Okay, so is that facing the correct way? Yes. Okay, so now this one is the same thing effectively. It's not... I mean, as long as it flies, I think this is malaligned, but let's just see. As long as it flies. Oh, uh, yeah, no, 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 it flies. It's all good. It's all good. Sort of. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh, I don't think I'm going to make it. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right, got it. <laughs> it was a little harder to control because it was uh, off center. <laughs> I, I don't know. 
I just get disoriented when it comes to 3D spaces and building shit in 3D spaces. But whatever, it, it worked, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna go to Lookout Landing just real briefly. Uh, I just wanna get another heart and get another bow slot. Since I, I believe I have enough seeds for another. And some arrows as well, because I've been running low for a while. Although, if I, I guess if I wait one more shrine, I could get two hearts. Hmm. No doubt there's going to be one at Gerudo Town, so maybe I should just, just wait a little longer. I might just do that. I just, I just want things to be okay in this town this time around, you know? Like, even if they still don't accept me, like, surely by the end of this game, we get into a scenario where they just let me in their damn town. Like, what, what do we have to do here? Apparently saving them wasn't enough last time. Oil jar? Never seen this before. Okay. Oh, we're here. Oh yeah, put the croc mask back on. Really? I've never taken a photo of that, apparently. What? The ice one is the only one I took a photo of. Slacking, I know. Um, I know there's a point to this for the horse stuff, but in all honesty, I'll just look it up on the list later. Oh, it's a Gerudo spear. They're pretty much the same recipes as Breath of the Wild, so I don't feel like I'm spoiling myself here. I just wish that the cooking was more consequential. I was really hoping that they would have uh, learnt their lesson from Breath of the Wild, where all the best recipes were just stacking one ingredient, or doing four ingredients in a dragon horn. It would have been nice if the ones that were recipes give you more than the, the sum of their parts. But they are, they didn't change it, so I don't really feel an incentive to hunt down the recipes. It's a shame, because the cooking's nice, it's just doesn't really amount to much when you figure it out. Oh. This is suboptimal. It's on the roof, isn't it? Uh Yahaha, yeah, ha, ha, question mark? <laughs> Where is it? Is, is it straight through the middle? Okay, hang on. Oh, it's stopped. No, wait, no, it hasn't. I mean, it 
does it want me to go up further? This doesn't have... Oh, yeah, no, it's here. <laughs> yeah, so there is a shrine in the Gerudo town. Uh, where's my food? Oh, it's cold, not heat. I think this should suffice for now. I figured I'd try. Attack the glowing purple part. <laughs> it did not work. Uh, do we have... Yeah, I guess... I don't want to try and get into the town and get kicked out. Is, do I have to go through the same process as before? Let's see. I finally made it. You did too, huh? Great work. The desert has a way of tripping you up. Traveling through it takes time, even in the best of circumstances. I guess you're here to see the geoglyph. No. That's not what I'm here to see. Hi. Oh, here we go. Ah, uh, but... I'll tell you a super special secret that even most Gerudo don't know. Oh, yeah, that's, that's reasonable. The problem is I can't wear the Korok mask. Since you were kind enough to buy the last one, I'll keep my promise and tell you that secret. The headband you just bought is only one part of the Desert Vo series. There's also a spolder and trousers. But you have to go to a special place to get them. Have you heard of the fashion passion in Gerudo Town? Well, the secret shop is located behind that store. Oh, now that I think about it, Vo- uh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I have to go through this again. Forget anything I said. Dude, come on. Come on. I, I saved- I saved the tribe. I'm- I'm practically best friends with the leader. What's it gonna take? What's it gonna take to just let me in the damn town? Oh my god, is that the sword of legend? The sword that banishes all evil? Nah, get the fuck out of your town. Get out. <laughs> Not allowed. I just... I couldn't- I could not believe it. Just the fact that even after you save them, even after... You become friends with their leader. They still will not budge on that stupid tradition shit. Like, man. Okay, I feel like this is a stupid idea. No. What? Wow, yeah, no, I'm glad I did not use the stick for that. Uh, I'd rather have the claymore. Go away. Oh no, they're everywhere. So this is a well, so I don't have to look for... I don't have to look for anything here. Unless this is one of these wells that turn into a cave. Okay, it might be. Hmm? 
I thought maybe. Okay, what is this? This is either nothing, <laughs> or it's, it's a secret. Uh, I mean, I thought maybe plugging that up with the rock might have done something, but... I hate what Zelda 1 did to me. From a problem-solving perspective, is like... Something like this. It's probably nothing, but that game would just, the scream secret to me internally. It's like, there's a secret. Try to, try to block it. Try to dig up the sand. Try to find if there's like a, maybe a hole in the wall or something. Just like five different things where this is a secret. Man, it's probably nothing. Use water. Okay. Okay, let me try and go through the ceiling. It doesn't let me go through the ceiling, which is interesting. It is a cave. It has become a cave, so there's something here. Oh, it's the sinkhole. Okay. Yeah, so then it is nothing. It's just a question of, does this go any further down? of finding shields. Okay. This still didn't break, really? Careful. Oh, no. Yeah, this is... Okay. Value. Alright, well, whatever this is, it doesn't matter now. So I found this, so that's fine. I didn't hear the shrine beeping, so I don't need to care about this. here. I am lost. <laughs> oh, we're still at the town. Okay, that's fine. Oh, these orbs are back. Isn't that all great? It's every bit expensive as it is old. Apparently someone in Garuda Town is investigating all these ancient whatchamacallits. <laughs> so once I get into town, I'm planning on finding somebody who knows their stuff about this stuff. Okay. 
So that's gonna come up again. Is this for real? Yeah, I guess I can catch the updraft. Does it roar? What the? <laughs> what is this? It's a hull. That scared the crap out of me. Okay. Nope, sir. Does this work? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Does help. It's not that deep of a, a rift. Swap to yeah, I mean, we'll stick with this for now. Okay, I'll be able to get a vantage point here. Ooh, the music's different. Okay, I see where I am. There's a bloopy... Um, let's follow this thing. It's still unbearably hot. What? Yeah? Oh, okay, I see. Seems to be a safety tunnel more than anything else. Whoa, these things are here. Okay, but I know how to deal with them. I'm sure that's supposed to be scary. <laughs> but I figured out how to how to dispose of them pretty easily. <laughs> the just mirror is the music kinda 
Kind of has Ganon vibes to it. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. Right, I'm going back the way I came, because otherwise I'm walking away from town. I like killing these things because they seem to give it tends to these are going to be excellent for our ammo if I need to do some serious damage with arrows they are I think my ticket Let's see if I get kicked out. Oh. Subversion of expectation. is in ruin. I mean, maybe, maybe now they'll accept me. <laughs> now that this town is no more. Can't kick me out of a town if there's no town to kick me out of. Ah, crap. And with this, now I know what the sand piles are for. It's like a different form of Mario Sunshine. So I have to make a, a fan shield, I guess. I'll take this one at the end. thinking the fan would do something. <laughs> Ooh, and we're doing light puzzles as well. I mean, this definitely feels more Gerudo than last time. Like, the electricity did feel a bit out of place. Now this definitely seems more like traditional Gerudo stuff. Reflecting light beams. Um, mummies, I guess, to some degree. Hux! 
felt more like a temple from Ocarina. Yeah. I mean, it's a good thing. Dude. Why is it not going high enough anymore? for a chest. Better be worth it. You know what? Happy about that. Might be a bit boring, but I need I need more arrows. What am I trying to do here? Don't see a light source. It's fine. I needed to angle down though, which I guess should be straightforward enough. Like if I do this. Right. And then. Oh, it's too steep of an angle down. I'm complicating it. I'm complicating it. It should just go on the floor. There we go. all the parts you'll need from the dragon. Good. I'll have to do the same at some point. Wait, where's beam? Ah, oh, crap. It wasn't aimed correctly. Did it fall? I can 
work with that, hopefully. <laughs> a little messy. Got there in the end. But see, I mean, I'm sure it's going to be in the dungeon. I slide it on its own. It's fine. Well, now, after looking into this, I can go spend, get a couple more heart containers. Almost at 300 Korok. Ah, crap. Oh, no, I thought that was a Korok for a, for a sec there. It, just, it, look, it looked like uh, the ones that are on the cliff. It's okay. It's not. Oh, yeah, right. Um, oh, it's cold now. It's okay. I can deal with that. In fact, swap and do this. I love the vibe here. It's just came to this town expecting to get kicked out and it's just gone. It. I was going to be like, this is my town now. Okay. I received an unsettling report from Buliara today. A strange haze, some have called it gloom, is emanating from beneath Hyrule Castle. Those who touch it fall ill, but my friends Link and Zelda are in Hyrule. I'm sure that those two can get to the bottom of this problem. A new, much more worrying report has arrived. Both Link and Zelda have gone missing while exploring below Hyrule Castle. Shortly after they were lost, the castle lifted off into the sky, where it was joined by countless small floating islands. So much happening all at once. What is going on in the world, and are those two safe? Things grow more and more dire across Hyrule, and now the danger has come here as well. A sand shroud, the worst sandstorm in recent history, memory, has covered the area. People are taking shelter underground. 
We traveled out to see if we could discern the cause of it, but we were ambushed by new monsters called Gibdos. To make matters worse, I wasn't able to accurately hit them with the lightning I can call down. We're inundated with those seeking safety from the sand trout or the Gibdos, and we still don't know what has caused us. As the chief of Gerudo Town, I am to blame for these failures. The fortifications protecting the shelter are strong. There's no way the monsters will be able to break through. We're also lucky to have a good source of water in the, in the shelter, but we must watch for invaders trying to use the waterways. And as a precaution, we should cover the hole behind the throne. Sitting here feeling sorry for myself won't solve anything. I'm going to leave Boliara in charge of the shelter and go train. The ruins to the north aren't too far. They should be the perfect, perfect place for me to practice with my lightning. Despite my worries for my people and for the world, I must do what I can. I know that's what Zelda would advise me to do. Oh, Lady Orbosa, if only you were here with us. Watch over us all in these dark times and keep Link and Zelda safe. Um, so that lightning that's happening in the desert, I was afraid to go near it because I thought it was a bad thing, but it's, it's her. Uh, I guess I should go see her. Because I don't think the villagers will welcome me if I haven't seen her first. I don't expect to get the warmest of welcomes. I don't know what she's talking about. I love fighting these things. They're great. They're going to make for some mighty strong arrows. Oh shit, I think I saw it. Hang on. Oh. Interesting. I may be getting ahead of my health myself here. Alright, it's just she's over here. I did go the wrong way. It's okay. Gary. Do bombs work? It's still technically fire. It does. But I mean, this is better. There's one with zombie rules in all honesty.
really? This two? Okay, curiosity. It does work. Try my new fancy weapon. Scorch death on that one. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> Cholad got the kill. Good job, Cholad. Proud of you. She is. Oh, no, that's not her. I just gotta look for lightning. I saw it in the distance. Alright, there's the ice house. Okay, that's either her or a case. It's a case. I would imagine she's indoors and sleeping. Mm -hmm. Hey, you're a Hylian. 
The suck. This is the ice house. It's where we store ice ovules to sleep. It's all made from snow melt from the Gerudo Highlands. I'm kind of surprised to see you here. It isn't really a tourist destination. But you're probably wondering where the ice is, right? Well, it's gotten hot enough that it all melted. But it feels wrong to even call this place an ice house now. Have you heard about the incredibly popular drink the Noble Canteen in town makes? Well, it uses ice from here. Or it did. If I can't get ice delivered to the town, there won't be any signature drinks being made anymore. I've got to find a way to make ice. Hey, that's ice, isn't it? I didn't know Hylians could make ice. Maybe I've been in the ice house or up in the mountain for too long. Anyway, if it's okay with you, could I have this ice? Is it possible to make a hunk of ice that fits ne nicely in that alcove? Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> It's nicely in the alcove, okay. Alright, I just have to... Try not to shrink it too much. Oh. What happened? Wait, ice. Oh. Oh, hey, perfectly sized ice. This will definitely hold up the, on the trip to town. That's great. Ah. Suck. Hopefully this is something you can make use of. Be sure to grab something to drink at the canteen in town. Oh. Feel free to come back and make more ice, okay? Uh, but don't... I don't have anything I can give you as a reward right now. It wouldn't feel right to accept your help when I can't repay so give me some time, okay? You could always visit the spa in Gerudo Town. I mean... Oh, wait. You're a Vo. So you aren't allowed inside Gerudo Town. Maybe... Yeah, okay. I will get into that town. Mark my words. Interesting. It is very hard to see right now, so... Stop. It could very well be below. even stamp it because the radar is down I 
can't stamp it. Shit. So I guess I'll either find it now or try to remember where where it is later. One of those mysterious ball things from town to just in these pits now. But I don't think that's got anything to do with the Korok. It's just so hard to see right now. Uh, unbearable heat again. Yeah, uh, I mean, like, I don't see it. I've searched the top of all these pillars, there's nothing. Oh, there it is, got it, got it, got it. Alright, we're good. Yeah, so, okay, I need to find her now. That should be training here, but I haven't seen any lightning lately. Okay, there. Found you. <laughs> Imagine she hit me. She's got shorter hair this time. Missed again. Can't hit my mark. Won't do anyone any good. <laughs> it's you. This changes things. I didn't expect to see you here. Show up in unusual times. You're gonna let me in your town yet? You're gonna tell everyone that we're friends? You're gonna let them know that it's okay to let me in the town? Or. Oh. So Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky, Zelda vanished right in front of you. And now you come from here looking for clues. Hmm. Link, I understand how you're feeling. Zelda is a dear friend to me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we Gerudo are facing. I'm sure you've noticed that the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. That's thanks to this unusual sand shroud. 
It appeared around the same time the events at Hyrule Castle took place. It's blanketed the whole desert, including our town. And not long after that, swarms of monsters we'd never seen before began attacking. We're calling them Gibdos. Physical attacks don't work well against them. They are slow, but they still make investigating the sand shroud difficult. Were you watching just now? Hmm. I've been practicing striking that dummy over there with lightning. If I can aim the lightning well, I think it may be an effective weapon against the Gibdos. Oh, maybe it's just elemental in general. Hmm. But this technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it and still need more practice. I want to master this power so I can use it to defeat the Gibdos. If I can do that, we can investigate the source of this sand trout and search for Zelda as well. Link, will you help me with my training? I think I can use your arrows to help me aim my lightning strikes. Fire one at that dummy over there. I just did. Ooh. Ah, there we go. Now let's try a little something trickier. Aim for those dummies over there. Maybe we can hit them all with a single lightning strike. Here's an idea. Don't try to hit a specific dummy. Instead, aim for the area in the middle of all three. Okay. The farther away the target, the longer it'll take me to build up the energy to hit it. Yes. I'm getting the hang of it now. The Gibdos don't stand a chance against this power. Oh? I can't thank you enough for your help, Link. Oh? What was that? Hmm. It didn't sound like any noise the Sand Shroud has made, that's for sure. You heard that too, right? It was... Chief! We've received word that a swarm of Gibdos are attacking Karakara Bazaar. Buliara is already on her way there. She's already... Okay, understood. Thank you. Link, we need to head to Karakara Bazaar at once. I must ask you for your help once again. My lightning and your guiding arrows make us a formidable pair. Do you remember Karakara Bazaar? It's the oasis out uh, northeast of Gerudo Town. Let's show those Gibdos what we're made of. Yes, but are you going to let me into your city afterwards, after I have done you multiple, multiple solids? <laughs> are you going to let your guards aware that I am a friend? No? No fast travel for me, unless I get above this. There we go. Okay, now we can fast travel. Instantly into the cutscene. Well, these things kind of look like the mushroom. Don't let the Gibdos get any closer. I wonder if that's how you take out the mushroom with fire. Ugh, if help doesn't arrive soon. I mean, is it the lightning or is it the fire afterwards? Sorry to keep everyone waiting, but I'm here now and I'm going to wipe out all the Gibdos at once. Follow me! Link, don't let me down. These monsters don't stand a chance.
Oh, gimme, 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 gimme. I want the bones. I mean, I don't have to be super accurate. See, I gotta admit this ability is cool, but the problem is gonna come down to the fact that I have to talk to her first to activate it. Which I think is the biggest letdown of these abilities, is just... We have multiple buttons on the controller, and yet... We are relegated to just, nope, same button, input for everything. Oh no! <laughs> the Swarm of Gibdo seems to be coming from there. Need to destroy that somehow, otherwise they'll overwhelm us. Or we can keep farming them for shits and giggles, like, I kinda like that idea. Um, but we're out of, we're out of options. Just hit that, please. Thank you. I'm surprised it did not give me more arrows before starting this. Well done holding the line until we were able to get here. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Huh. Are you gonna let me in the town yet? <sighs> are we friends yet? <laughs> I'm going to keep Is asking. That Zelda? She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm... Uliara, we need to get back now. <laughs> <laughs> no voice We're line, just grunts. I'll meet you in town. One of these days we'll get a Zelda game where everything is voice acted. Um, okay, before we, before we do, because otherwise it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a problem. I, I have to get more arrows, so. Otherwise it's gonna be a problem. So let me go around the various towns and buy up their arrow supplies. <laughs> hey, is it Twitch out? Yeah, I mean, I think the end result of this is still going to be they're not going to let me in their town. Because tradition. Oh, I went a little too far. find their base. I didn't bother. I just figured that they'd be like, oh no! 
Someone has found our base. Get out. Instead, I just went straight to her. A bow. Oh, get out of here. It's that bow that rescued us and is going to rescue us a second time. Get out. Disgusting. I'm glad I waited with the Sages thing, because it looks like her ability is going to be more useful than um, Yonobo's one. getting there after this boss. It's looking good from a health perspective. Oh no, did he move back to the Korok first? He may have moved back to the Korok first. Yeah, he's not here. That's fine, I mean, I can buy arrows from here as well. I mean, that makes sense. He went home. I finally made it home to the Korok forest. The Koroks told me that icky stuff floating in the air was making things weird around here. I'm so happy it's gone and that everyone is better now. Okay. Shaka Kala. Yeah, I was 35. Does not get old. <laughs> no more bow stash, and now it's down to shields. How much is it? Ten. Okay. I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't. It looks like it's not going to take into account the 900 again. Or whatever, whatever the final amount is. I'm sure it's way more than 900. God damn it! <laughs> there it is! Found it! <laughs> That's a sneaky spot, though. I will say that is quite the sneaky spot. Okay, next pit stop, we're going Kakariko Village. Fan big, yeah, we want, we want to definitely visit this. We need more fans. Uh. <laughs> I can't believe it was there the whole time. How many streams ago was that? That wasn't that long ago, right? Like... Honestly, it's hard to keep track.
It was recent. Okay. I just feel like that game show I talked about from the 1990s where they had to find a bunch of keys and then if they found the bonus key they would get the Game Boy. That's that was the Game Boy key right there. Unfortunately I didn't find it. So bad luck. No Game Boy. Didn't win the game, boy. Nope. Huh? What just rolled out there? Is that what I think it is? It's so strange, this artifact was intended to produce Zona devices, huh? But why would the Zona people have built a thing? Hmm, couldn't bring it to a guess. She hasn't seen me do this before? Anyway. More fans. Oh shit, that was a use, not hold. Ugh. I'm gonna have to go on a Zonai murdering spree. I need more charges. Have more photos for him. Wait, I don't. Oh, oh shit! The one that fell out of the sky in Farron. I guess I didn't get a good photo of it. Well, not Farron. It would have been here. It would have been this one. So I need to go to the ground level here. Okay, that's where it is. Because I, I took a picture of it as it fell, and I think it wasn't a good picture. Um, that's okay. Give me a minute. How did I get him to look at the pictures? Just talk to him. I didn't do anything specific. Oh. Mm. Pirates chased off by you, sure. All right. I can't thank you enough. I want to sell. Ah. I thought she was about to reward me there. Um. I can afford to sell like 10 of these, that's fine. Oh. Ma. Apparently I have 32 of these, so 18 of these are gonna go away. Fifty-five opals. We don't know that money. Ma. Oh. Good. Let's. Ah. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Ah. Ma. How many arrows? Is this? That's. I think. Decent enough. Alright, now... <laughs> this, this just makes me laugh now. Just because of that dude that got into trouble from his landlord for a noise complaint. <laughs> it was just this fairy. Uh, but I'm gonna see if I can upgrade this helm already. Just get started on that process. I would imagine it involves chill shroom. Or like ice, um... Ice jelly. Shared the video to brother really laughed. <laughs> it's pretty great. 
I mean, at least it's it's a game like Zelda. So it's fine, it's understandable. But I think there are certain games where it's just easier to just say, Oh, sorry, it was porn. My bad. <laughs> God damn it. Uh. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's the jelly. Mm. Uh. <sighs> so let's just give this some power. Safelina. Especially if I'm going to be heavily relying on this, I think it should have a decent armor base. I can keep going. <laughs> oh, that face. Ice Lazalfos tail. Ice Lazal. Okay, I just need to murder more Ice Lazalfos. No problem. But I can do this now as well. I'd imagine every time it's just light dragon stuff, so... Oh, cool. Yes, please. That's a good piece of gear now. I need Din Scale and I need Ferocious Claw. Okay. I'll have to try and remember that. Um, I could upgrade the Sheik Mask, but it's just... Yeah, I don't know. Um, this still needs a bunch of different stuff, so... I don't want to give up Lionel stuff just to upgrade that. I feel like, well, maybe later, but for now. Yeah, that's a, that's a steep cost for that. Alright, let's leave it like that. No, great. That was good. Okay, uh, what time is it? 6 p.m. See, I can almost kind of guess the trajectory of this l this dragon now. 3 p.m., it's roughly at the, uh, the Shrine of Resurrection. So, kind of have a frame of reference of where it's traveling. Oh, we're here. Do we see it anywhere? Looks like it's, this thing is back.
Okay, so this is the one that I did not take a good photo of, so let's... Careful. There's a shrine over there. Okay. Noted. There we go. Now I got it. Back into the sky. No? Okay. <laughs> Not allowed. Why? Okay, I feel like at this point it's just easier to do this again. I could take five minutes to climb or I can just shoot myself out of the tower again. Yeah, I mean, so I know that is the memory, then. The next one that I'm after. But it's so far away. <laughs> All right, I'll see if there's anything nearby. I think the, uh... The stable at the bridge is the closest. I know a, this is a little bit of a detour, but while well, I'm at it. A balanced plan. Huh? Do you really need to balance this? I feel like you don't need to balance this at all. At least not that one. Easier. There we go. Huck. 
Alright, but again... see the need to actually do any of the balancing. I wonder if at some point that ominous effect is going to disappear once you have all the light. Oh, yeah, 300 Koroks now, too. Uh... Okay, I mean, I know what that is. We're not gonna go down that rabbit hole. I'll get the memory. I know what this one is. I missed this one because it, it did not click. I've probably missed a bunch of these ones. I just have to see what's going around. This tree is in the way, I can't see what I'm doing. I guess that's the idea. That's the camera getting in the way. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Go away, don't care. I went the wrong way. Oh, there's a Lionel here. It's not a, it's not a difficult one. Man, it can spot you out from a ridiculous range. Can I get a skyblock? Skyblock, please. Skyblock. doing here now no uh. oh, yeah I mean there's nothing else all right next <laughs> I mean croc mask it's gonna make it look dumb but hey seem a bit distracted. I apologize. I keep getting lost in my thoughts, thinking about how I can return home. With your power over time, if I were able to learn that kind of control, I might be one step closer to my era. I see. The secret is to think of it like drawing out the object's memory. You ask the object where it was? how it arrived where it is now, and then you coax it back to that original moment in time. The object's memory. I'm sure it will become almost like second nature, and you will be able to find your way home. But Zelda, there is more on your mind than just that. Huh? You, of course, do want to get back to your time. But... You also desperately want to help us out in this era. Am I close to the truth? How did you know? <laughs> I do not believe it is possible to keep anything secret from Sonya. <laughs> oh, your concern is very sweet, Zelda. But listen, you can focus your attention on returning home. After all, you possess more than power over time. You have a sacred power that can dispel evil. Both of these powers will help you protect your own era. 
Queen Sonia. And of course, you must make it home safe to put Link's mind at ease. Link? Uh, that is not a name I have heard. He is a royal knight. He had been originally appointed for my protection. But later, he became a hero by saving both me and Hyrule from a great evil. Oh, a hero is he? He is so very dedicated, and he refuses to back down from any challenge. <sighs> he is very strong. <laughs> And his heart is good and true. Ah, I can see that you have absolute faith in him. Hearing you speak so highly of Link, I find myself wanting to meet him as well. Indeed. I would also like to meet him. He must be quite the brave, courageous knight. What a picture Zelda paints of him. It's a nice gazebo. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Well, I mean, then almost up to date. <laughs> okay. That's enough of a distraction. Look, Link. There's a Gibdo hive, just like the one that appeared near Karakara Bazaar. Both the hive and those tornadoes were reported to have shown up at the same time, too. But it's not the only one hive. There are three to deal with, each just outside the town gates. I don't need a clairvoyant sand seal to know a massive Gibdo attack is coming. Oh. Right now, those hives are durable and nearly impervious to attack. But when they are open, they begin releasing Gibdos. They're vulnerable. The Gibdos won't wait outside our walls forever, so when they launch their attack, that's our chance to strike. Uh. Huh? Come. Come. To where I am. You heard it again, didn't you? Come. Is it calling out to us? Mm -hmm. Lady Riju, Link, is something the matter? I thought it's nothing. <laughs> Link, for now we should focus on protecting Gerudo Town from enemies at our gates. You must prepare for battle. Damn, what does what does it say to do? I guess it says go with Riju. Uh. Mm? 
golden hair, blue eyes, about the same height as Lady Riju. Ooh. You're the bit everyone's been talking about, aren't you? Lady Riju, let us know that you have a permission to enter the shelter. You're even allowed to visit the shops and use things in town. You must be quite a special, though. Oh, what? Acknowledgement? Get the fuck out. Wait, I'm at... Man. Well, this is definitely quite a shift. Mm. This blaster thing looks like poisonous mushrooms, and just like poisonous mushrooms, they must be eliminated. I'll crush every last one to dust. And you'll be backing us up, won't you? Yeah, I mean, that's nice. Would have been nice if that happened in Breath of the Wild. Hmm. Okay. The sand shroud sudden appearance of the Gibdos and the hide. Strange events keep happening one after another. And we never saw Zelda in the Karakara Bazaar, but she hasn't been anywhere near around Gerudo Town. There's something even bigger going on, but for now, we need to focus on the problem at hand and prepare to fight. Link, I need your help again. Speak with Bulliara and the soldiers and help organize our defenses. Oh. What's the plan? Oh. Talk to Captain Teak in the yard, work with her and decide how best to deploy our forces. Okay. Hang on. Oh. Pata is in the courtyard. She's in charge of the materials we have on hand. We could reinforce our defenses with them. If you need anything, you should talk to her. Oh. Okay. Do you have any questions about preparing for battle? Uh, nah, we're good. Oh. Sorry, chat. I was a little bit distracted um, just now because um, I don't know if if, if some of you are, are aware, but at the moment there's just a bunch of shit happening with Twitch where they've changed um, a bunch of their terms of services. So some of the bigger ones, um, basically people that are partners and making money on Twitch, they got really angry at it. Um, I won't go into it, but I got an email from Twitch and it kind of scared me a little, a little because it said they made changes to the affiliate agreement, which is what I'm under. And it specifically mentioned posting VODs anywhere after you've streamed. So I was kind of worried that they changed it and it might like have ramifications for YouTube, for the YouTube channel. But, um, from what I see... It looks like they're just, they're being less restrictive on that, so I, I guess there's nothing to worry about, but I'll check it out later. Um, hopefully it's nothing serious. But man, just... It seems like they just make stupid decisions at, at this company. <laughs> like every, every few months or so, they just come out with something that just pisses everyone off. I, it's just, what what's wrong with them? Honestly. Anyway. Hives of monsters appeared outside the town walls. It won't be long before we'll need to deal with this threat. How should we deploy our forces? Who should we send and where? We could spread them out to lightly cover all the gates, or maybe a concentrated force to protect the weakened position. We need to decide who to send and where. Okay. Up to you! Don't care! <laughs> no, let's try. Um... To send them to the west gate. Oh. That's a good one, actually. The sword troops. The east gate. Ah. 
The canoe. Hold this position. Okay. Yeah, I, I was worried they were going to say something like, oh, you're not allowed to post your live stream VODs on a competing service or something. Hmm. Um, which, if that would happen, that would be like an immediate, okay, we're going to YouTube now. There's not really much of a choice, is there? Yeah, I don't know, man. <laughs> Twitch concerns me a little. I, since last year, maybe the year before, just slowly but surely. What happened? Oh, I got distracted because um, Twitch sent a notification slash email um, saying they changed some of the affiliate agreement stuff. So if you don't know the news, like they a few days ago, they made some changes to the partner one. So, the larger streamers were really, really pissed off at it. Like, it caused this uproar, basically. Um, doesn't affect me, because, you know, I don't have brand deals or anything like that. So, but then just now I got a little notification that said, hey, uh, we've made some changes to your agreement. And it's like, they specifically mentioned posting live stream VODs after you've finished going live, and I was worried that it may be a thing that they're restricting it now. I'll read into it more, but... Yeah, I don't know. Every few months, Twitch just makes a decision that everyone gets pissed off at. I'm curious about that voice we heard earlier, but... Hmm? Situation report. Numbers of Gibdos are moving to attack the town. Before anything else, we'll need to deal with this. Okay, I found out the answer to it. Got it. Boyara, they have the town surrounded. Stay strong. This is a also an opportunity. This threat is also an opportunity to fight. To fight. The threat is also an opportunity. Fight well, and we can wipe them out in one battle, hive and all. Um, the answer was before you had to wait 24 hours before you could upload your live stream vod to any other service, but they've removed that restriction now, so now it can be immediate. So that's good. But the language they use, it was just so fucking concerning. I was worried for a sec. Anyway, enough of that. Ooh. Protect our chief. Protect our town. Yeah, it's it's a good it's a good thing, thankfully. It's just it's the way if you would have seen the way the email was phrased and if you would know the stuff that um had been going down. Had been going down <laughs> the last few days. Just the drama. Some of the larger streamers were straight up just threatening to leave the platform if they went ahead with the stuff they were thinking about doing. So it, it got that serious. Take them out! Oh, this is this is like almost like a zombies mode. It's cool. Enemies from the hive near the west gate. Let's hit it with lightning. I looked at TikTok briefly, but the problem with TikTok is to do it. Um, you need to have a thousand followers at least, because they don't let everyone do the uh, the streaming right away. Enemies from the hive at the east gate. They're heading straight for us. 
I've all, I'm almost at that threshold. Like, I think I'm at 700 ish now. From the hive at the north gate, too. Don't let them overrun us. I mean, I'll, I might experiment with it initially, but I don't know. I'm just not convinced about TikTok. <laughs> I've never had an. I've never had anyone come here and be like, "Oh yeah, I I saw your stuff on TikTok." It's it just hasn't happened yet. So I'm not really sure how valuable it is. Oh my god! Bulliara isn't handling this. Oh shit. Reader's under attack. Where? Oh, this is like a tower defense thing. Ooh. That's cool, though. Yeah, I mean, I haven't really done much with it in a while, to be honest. Just haven't had the time to do stuff with it. Take out the hives. I'm trying, but she keeps getting targeted. Just won't stop. Yes! That hive is out of action. I was <laughs> trying to do it, but they just we keep getting close to her. This is cool though, I like this. Am I able to collect all the monster parts later, or are they just going to vanish? Yeah, see this shit. I think I can get them. Okay, hopefully. No. That's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, let's not waste the good bow. Um, I guess that one. Dude. Come on, soldiers. What are you doing? Get your act together. I guess I just have to... Leave her. Wait, why didn't that work? Because I haven't killed enough of them. Too far. Oh, okay. All we have to do now is clear out the rest of the Gibdos. Give those things back. I'm sure I've taken a photo of the flying one. No, I have. Alright. 
the moth. I am so glad I want to get this many arrows. I'm going to have to go buy more. Use an insane amount of arrows. Okay, what was the last ones? Oh, here. <laughs> okay. They, they had it. Oh? Link, I am incredibly grateful for your help in the battle. On behalf of all the Gerudo, thank you. I suspect... The Gibdo threat will calm down a bit now that we've wiped out the hives that were surrounding the town. I noticed that the hives crumbled into sand when we destroyed them. I wonder if the Gibdos have some kind of connection to the sand. Or maybe they're connected to the sand shroud. Did they make it? Did it summon them? Hmm. And then there's the voice that you and I both heard. A voice and lightning. This reminds me of something. Link, there's something you should see. Come down to the mural in the underground shelter. Man, Bulliara is just, just massive. <laughs> That's like classic Amazonian design. She's so tiny next to her. Okay, before, yeah, we go there. get whatever Gibdo parts. Oh. So the ones they killed didn't make a pile of uh, Gibdo parts. That's a little disappointing. Oh, there's a ball thing here. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Your after school picnic. Alright, no worries. Enjoy. Time is it here? Oh wow, it's already 11.30. Yeah, I still want to play Diablo. Ah, uh, I need a fan. Well. Let's, I'll keep it in mind. Excuse me, did this, are they selling a, Give their parts. Oh no, this this is all nice. I thought for a second <laughs> they had started a shop. No, awesome. Children can be used for the sand. Oh, yeah, good idea. Oh wait, no, he can't he can't be because we're in the town. But yes, outside of the town, I will I will use children. Just here. We're in a town and not allowed to have the sages here for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, outside. I'll keep it in mind. I don't, I don't know why they did that. I guess... It wouldn't be because of Chulun. It would probably be because of the others. Like sending a ball of uh, molten rock in a town. I don't know. Might not be the best idea. Okay, I think I've picked up everything. Oh, she's... <laughs> she's in the shelter. fought well against the Gibdos. I'm glad you're alright. 
It would have been unacceptable for an important guest of Lady Ryuju, even of her, to be injured. You may pass through here, get some rest and recover after a fierce battle. I'm impressed, actual hospitality. Um, I guess let's grab these quests. Dora Diana, hmm? Oh, you're the chief's guest. Hmm, this is a vow. His ears look to be about... And the circumference of his head and neck... Interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. You're the first vow I've ever seen. Uh, I got a little carried away figuring out your measurements. Why was I doing that? Because I make accessories, and the key to any good accessory is the perfect fit. My name's Kara. I haven't had a lot of opportunities to make accessories for a vow. So if you give me the chance, I'll put everything I've got into making some really great ones for you. If the shop's owner were here, she probably could have made you all sorts of things. But she went out to look for potential adornments and hasn't come back since. She was in such high spirits too, gushing about all the treasures she'd find around the Taruma Dunes. That's a dangerous place though, Molduga territory. I hope she didn't run into trouble. Okay. Oh. Need something? Okay. Yeah, I mean... Oh, yeah, we have this already. Arrows, definitely want to buy these. Is this? Oh. What are you? Oh, uh, Link, you came. Look at the mural on this wall. It is thought to have been painted by the ancestors of the Gerudo. It appears that when they created it, they were also using this shelter to hide. Perhaps the Gerudo of distant past were also beset by some great disaster. Anyway, the writing on the mural says, Standing back to back with the throne, witness the red pillar pillars across the vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal the lightning stone and open the way. You who can hear my voice, come to me, I await you. That mysterious voice that spoke to us. Its words reminded me of this mural. Mm. This image must represent a location of some kind. The engraved words are a riddle to discovering this location. It's the only explanation that makes sense. I mean, I did find something yesterday. I guess let's get out. <laughs> I inadvertently started this process already. That just feels so much more lively now. Before it was just empty. But just the addition of the Gibdos.
is the second one. How do these work? Ah, there's a... I mean, these things are pretty non-threatening. Be largely ignored. Oh, ah, can't tell. <laughs> Damn it. Then said the middle. This looks pretty middle-ish. I'll go back and see what she says. Ah, oh, go away. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you, fast travel. Open. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, hold on. Saba. Ah. Oh, you must be that vote everyone's talking about. Say, are you highly interested in archaeology? Would it surprise you to learn that I'm an archaeologist myself? After much work, I have deciphered these stalae. Eh? Do you want to hear what's written on them? Sure. Oh. If you insist. <laughs> First up, the stella over there on the left says, The seven heroines who protect the Gerudo, their secret will be expressed on six stalae. 
for the stella stella over there on the right it says the seven heroines who protect the gerudo the eighth and eighth channels and guides the power of these seven hmm. i doubt you know this being a highly inverted but we grew to have believed in the heroines for a long long time ah. they are said to have protected and guided our people in times past unfortunately i have found little in the way of documentation about the heroines themselves there are many debates surrounding these enigmatic figures some argue for revering all seven as a collective and others for worshiping each one as an individual certain rabble-rousing contrarians even claim there were not seven but one or eight if there is one thing scholars love it is arguing with each other eh? but these stellae definitely support the theory of eight an incredible discovery, isn't it? I could stop here and rightly say that I changed the face of archaeology. But I found the other four stellae. Who knows what else I might learn about the heroines. I wonder too about this orb that I found while searching for the stellae. Is it somehow connected? <laughs> if I gave a presentation on all of this, I'd be the star of the archaeology society. Uh... But I have not been able to find any stellae besides these two. Since there's nothing like them on the surface, the others must be underground somewhere. Huh. <sighs> Wish I could see the text inscribed on the stella, even a picture. Mm. I have one. Eh? Found a stella? Show me. Mm. Let's see, it says, The seven heroines protect the Gerudo with the powers of heart, skill, fortitude, wisdom, flight, mobility, and compassion. Hmm, yes, this legend is well known, but it had never been verified until I came along, that is. Ha ha ha! I'm curious about the text inscribed on Stella. Okay. Wait, did I take a picture of another one? I don't think I did. Alright, it's fine, leave it. Standing back to back with the throne, witness red pillars across the vast sea. Unite the pillars in light to reveal a lightning stone and open the way. Wait, what does it say about that? Okay. BLB. Oh, it's really that cold. Hmm, I don't know about this, but we'll see. I thought this would just be an arena, but maybe not. Ooh. Okay, fine. 
I have to make more stamina food. Ah, uh, but it is the Gleok fight. I mean, I guess I can do it. That's fine. I've done it before. I have enough arrows. Yes. Okay. Go. Ooh, this one takes a heavier toll than the other. Okay. Good hustle. Okay. That messes me up. I already got cold resist. <laughs> already two heads dead. shot. Okay, well there goes that weapon. Knocked one head out. So now there's not going to be any ice, it's just going to be lightning. I think that's what you need to do before it starts doing this shit, is just try and take out either the ice head or the lightning head. I mean, this might cause more problems, so we'll see. Nice. 
let's just make sure this goes down. There we go. It's still a really fun fight. Okay. I think I have, yeah, the taking out of the head is before it gets a chance to go up. That made that so much easier. Guess while I'm here, I'm gonna go collect all the various fruits. more fire fruit. It looks like it wants you to use dazzle fruit by the looks of it, so that's interesting. I might try that next time. Maybe you, s you blind it? I guess that would make sense, it's eyes. Okay, it's another sage thing, there's three that remain. So this is directly above it. You know, you can see it. So it didn't completely finish it. The one at the far end over there is malaligned. I don't really have the stamina to make this. It's just silly of me to think that this is going to work. <laughs> can I can I push against it? Let's see. Maybe. 
Oh no, yeah, it's, it's working. You can see it. Crap. It's too... It's too hot again. <laughs> so dumb. It worked. Uh. It's time to read you now. Is that too far away? Is that out of the question? Oh. <laughs> nice. Already worthy. I'm guessing because uh, the quick the quicksand was supposed to be difficult to get here. Hmm. If it was a pain to get here, I wonder if it's a pain to get back. Oh, no. Okay, this definitely looks... This looks problematic. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I just need to find a an updraft. Oh, do I? No, it's just, I guess it's to go to the middle now. Oh, 
Oh, it's Creepy Zelda again. Link! Did you see that, Link? It's Zelda. What? She's gone. Where did Zelda go? I saw the lights of the red pillars and hurried here as quickly as I could. It cannot be a coincidence that we've seen someone who looked like Zelda twice, but a mystery for another time. Did you solve the mural's riddle and cause this to appear? I'm impressed. If I remember correctly, the mural said, Unite the pillars and light to reveal a lightning stone and open the way. Maybe my lightning strike is the key. My choice of bow is, uh... I'm guessing this is what we're going to have to do when we're in the dungeon, so... Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> yeah, this was in the trailer reveal, where it just was like, oh, they have dungeons in, in the game. I mean, sort of. <laughs> sort of. Still akin to a divine base, but much, much more interesting. At least it's thematically unique every time, so that's a plus. This is cool, though. The Lightning Temple. The mural's myth arisen from the sands. Okay. I mean, hang on. What am I using as a bow right now? I guess not really a choice in this. Riju. Oh, hey. What? You're not doing it. There we go. What, already? Holy crap. What, already? No, this is probably just like a brief fight to begin with. Look, he's stirring up the sand trap. It must be responsible for all this. Come on, let's take it down together. This has to be their leader. Oh, the heat. The heat is getting to me. Um, okay. I can take I can take one of these pieces off. Um, okay, hold on. Let's change our order here. Oh, 
Okay. Are you okay? A bit better now. Okay, it's back. Oh, this is going to be tricky. <laughs> Shit, I'm running out of weapons. You okay? Hang on. It's gonna run away, isn't it? Zombie horde time? Yeah, I thought so. I fled to the roof. Maybe there's some way we can go up after it inside the structure. Come on, Link. Let's find a way in. Yeah. Hopefully there's arrows everywhere. Here we go. Okay, elemental to get him out of it. I get it, I get it. But don't have to use arrows all the way. Okay, whatever. Be finicky. Hey, Gammy. Mean. <laughs> Flame. Oh, right. Yeah, that's probably going to be useful. I guess the first time I'm using this as well. So the replacement for the Korok leaf. Sarah's so pretty cool. I should probably make an effort to take these out. Please. I'm gonna need them. Okay. Got a torch as well. Uh, 
I know I'm gonna look ridiculous, but... <laughs> okay. Oh man, I like the vibes of this already. I just put it on top of a mummy. Okay, that's fine. Just use this. Supposed to drop below. Or is this a prob an engineering problem? Possible to go further, you say? All right, we're good. And now they're off. <laughs> hey, the flames have gone out. Now we can move ahead. What? Oh shit! That was close. Okay, this was a terrible idea. Worst idea I've had. Uh-oh. Oh wait, no it wasn't. Man, just powering through these. Do anything. Ooh. 
level soldier is that? Okay. I think I need a torch to get rid of that. This one certainly feels very unique compared to the other ones. I think we've arrived at the main room now. Yeah, this is the... Now this is the... Whatever number of, uh... Locked things are. I'm certain that the mural we saw in town was trying to guide us here. And I believe we'll also find whoever that voice we've been hearing belongs to. Floor started to rise and it slammed back down. We have to power up everything. Daughter, daughter of the Gerudo. This platform connects to the very top of this temple. Use your power to charge the four batteries, and it will function once more. Yep, here we go. Heed my words. Uh. I heard the voice very clearly now. It's calling to me. It said I should use my power to charge the four batteries. Mm. The monster we fought outside earlier fled to the top of this temple, and the voice that has been speaking to us said the platform should be able to take us all the way to up there. If that's true, we should corner the monster at the top. We might also figure out who is talking to us and why. Okay, Link, we need to get to the very top. To start, we should do what the mysterious voice suggested and try to find the four battery devices. Hip. 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 Yeah, I mean, this is fine. It's just nice that this is thematically different. Come <laughs> on. 
You saw her being annoying. I need to make standard food. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's a mirror shield already. Um, that was a failed experiment, I guess. If this has an intended solve or whatever, I guess we'll figure it out. of aligning these two together. So every now and then a beam of light will shine. Okay. 
Go. Hey, the trap is disabled. We can get past now. It's another one. So this is a similar thing. Well, I guess I can just do it with the mirror shield, can't I? Shit, I can't move this. Okay, as long as it's out of the way. Why is this so wildly inaccurate? I have no idea why my shield was that inaccurate, but whatever.
Oh, really? Well, that's a freebie. Read you. Very surprised at how uh, straightforward that one was. Looks like it has a lot of railing. <laughs> Glorious room of light. I can do this without her. <laughs> kind of have a problem. Hang on. I don't know, but this is. What do we do here? Ah. I think the vibes of this dungeon so far have been on par with the Rito. I'm guessing both of these work the same way. It 
doesn't quite hit it. Oh no, there we go. Okay. Got both open. Wait, or is it, or is it? Aiming. There. This might be too far. Not too far. Should have looked before I leapt. <laughs> oh well. Um. Hey, Reju. Yeah. 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 Battery to go. We're fine. I've already unlocked it. <laughs> the music's getting more serious. I love it. Uh, that doesn't bode well. Zombies. Didn't work. 
Excellent that that still works. Okay, we need to strike. I'm happy to be doing this though. More of these to shoot. enough. Oh. Okay, how am I going to get this up here? Need to be able to dive into it. <laughs> Cannot be bothered. The shield has good intentions, but it just does not aim right. Honestly, a nightmare. Where are you? There you are. Come here. Alright. Here we go. Alright. We've charged all of the batteries with lightning. That should wake up the mechanism in the center. Let's go, Link. Epic music. <laughs> what is Link? I think this platform is about to move.
Hmm, something's shining over there. She's here now. Really? Apparently not. How do we start this? There's usually a thing that I interact with. Oh. Okay. There we go. I think I think we can do better. I'm tempted to just go full defense here. We've got it cornered here. Get ready. What? Yeah, I'm trying. I'll slow it down. Praise the bastard. Now it's... I mean, these hills are going to come into play, right? Thought so. Don't worry about me. Now 
we have now we have a light source. That light! Maybe we can use it! I'm gonna make more of them. This is a cold fight. Okay. It doesn't channel this quick enough. Right, didn't work. This is honestly easier than trying to aim with the shield. She, she's up there. Okay. I thought doing that effect would work. It's okay. I don't see where she's at. Moving. Are you okay? Where'd the, where'd the mirror go? I got knocked away, I got knocked away. So annoying. Don't have time to like prepare a new weapon. Let's go.
to shoot it quickly. That was a cool fight. I think now that I've done the four, Rito number one, this one number two. Um, I would have to rank the Zora, I mean the Zora fight at the bottom is kind of trivial. The temple was cool, but the fight was kind of, eh. This one had a cool temple and a cool fight. Same with the Rito. They're pretty, uh... They're pretty on par with one another. I'm impressed by this one. daughter of the Gerudo. Uh, I know that voice. You're the one who's been talking all this time. Yes, your ancestor from a time long past. Oh, it's like our boss's was a voice. a warrior who served the first king of Hyrule and a sage who called down lightning, just as you can. I've seen you brandish the power you have in defense of our people. I would expect nothing less from my descendant. You are the pride of the Gurudo. The Demon King is responsible for sending the monster that caused the Sand Shroud. But the monster's true purpose was to prevent you from obtaining that stone. My secret stone. Demon King? Secret stone? <laughs> Don't worry. You will understand soon enough. Let me tell you of events in our distant past. The events that shaped our people's destiny during the imprisoning war. Long it's the same long story, so. When the kingdom of Hyrule was still young. I mean, I, I get why. It's it's just because they don't know what order you're going to do this in, so they unfortunately have to make this the same every time. They do reveal one thing about the area, which I guess is, is fine. His obsession with power transformed him into a monster. Raru, the first king of Hyrule, and six warriors rose to oppose him. I'm proud to have been one of them. We face the Demon King. But only after Raru gave us the secret stones. Artifacts that amplified the abilities of those who carried them. I, the Sage of Lightning, fought by my fellow sages in battle with my own secret stone. But we were no match for his overwhelming power. He endured our strongest attacks. Even the lightning strikes I called down. King Raru knew we had lost the battle against the Demon King. He made the ultimate sacrifice to imprison the Demon King, to seal him away. That was the imprisoning war. Some time later, Another of the six sages, the Sage of Time, came to visit me, and she set the Gerudo on our destined path. The magic restraining the Demon King will eventually be undone. When that time comes, you must help Link. He is a noble swordsman who will fight that monster. So please, he will need your assistance. Lend him your power, 
The Gerudo's control of lightning. The path of the Gerudo was clear at that moment. We wish nothing more than to eliminate the Demon King. We are responsible for his very existence in this world, and for that we must make amends. I swear to you that when the Demon King returns, the Gerudo Sage of Lightning will awaken once more. The Gerudo Sage and her people will fight alongside your swordsmen. Instead of kicking him out of the town. <laughs> uh. I have told you all I can of the imprisoning war and of our people's destiny. You have saved Gerudo Town. But the Demon King still remains a threat. Riju, daughter of the Gerudo. You must take up my secret stone and honor the vow I made to the Sage of Time long ago. Fight alongside the swordsman, Bleak. Oh, you know what? I had the Master Sword. I didn't even use it. That's fine. I completely so forgot. Destiny to fight by your side. <sighs> my destiny as a sage, my duties as chief, and fighting side by side with you? <laughs> Sounds like fun. I will gladly strike down the so-called Demon King. I guess it's time to claim my destiny. Hope it comes in the airing. I am the Sage of Lightning. Witness this new power I possess. <laughs> yeah, she's getting an upgrade. Link, give me your hand. of lightning swear that i will stand with you and here as proof of my vow to call upon my power whenever you need it. <laughs> it seems I can finally repay you. Okay, should we head back to town? I do like the ability, it's just the fact that I have to talk to her to activate it. I feel like that could have been done a little better, but I don't know. In the heat of battle, you have to run to your sage and try not to interact with the wrong one. It's, it's a little clunky. It wasn't too bad when it was only Chulun. But then, as more have joined the party, it's gotten a little bit more tricky. Generic gasp sound. Oh, oh. Eh? <laughs> Just, it just makes you think of uh, Tim the Tall Man Taylor. Uh.
That is cool, though. Ha, <laughs> <laughs> ah, Link. I'm grateful to you for helping me save the Gerudo. I have received reports that ever since the sand shroud dissipated, Gibdo attacks have almost entirely stopped. Oh. It will no doubt take some time to rebuild, but it is thanks to your help that we can live on the surface again. On behalf of all the Gerudo people, thank you. I'm sorry to say, though, that despite the safety of the Gerudo Town now being a pressing concern, we still haven't been able to uncover any information on the whereabouts of Princess mm. Zelda. Actually, Biliara, I do have a small piece of information regarding Princess Zelda. I've experienced a vision when I took the secret stone in my hand. The person that my ancestor referred to as the Sage of Time looked identical to Zelda. Someone who just happens to look like Zelda? That doesn't explain everything that's been going on. Hmm... It's impossible to deny that someone resembling Zelda has been spotted across Hyrule, and the terrible events follow her. The Zelda we know and the Zelda we saw in the vision of the distant past are incredibly similar. Mm. If the Zelda in the past is our Zelda, then who is this other person? We must uncover her true identity. Mm. I'm sorry, Link. Although the threat of the Sand Shroud and the Gibdos has passed, I cannot leave Gerudo Town at the moment. Things need some time to settle. However, we will take on the task of searching this area for any signs of Zelda. Hmm. And with my newfound power as Sage, I will still be able to support you. I swear that I will do anything to help. Oh. Link, you said you had already visited Rito Village, Goron City, and Zora's Domain. I'm sure Lookout Landing would value any information you could share. Why not go there and see if you can help? I hope your travels bring you back here again, Link. I look forward to such a reunion. But I'm I'm sure I'm allowed I'm sure I'm allowed here. They're not gonna kick me out, it's fine. <laughs> they didn't kick me out before. Hooray. Um I just noticed these things. I wonder. I'll take a picture of it. I think they're all the same. They look the same. Okay. Good stopping point for Zelda. I still want to play Diablo. I'm going to play Diablo just to wrap things up for the evening. But before I do that, I'm going to stretch and get a beverage. But if you're here for Zelda, thank you so much for watching. I played a bit extra um, today as uh, the time was split between Katamari and stuff before. So we got a decent chunk of it done. And now... It's time to explore the desert next time and uh, get more shrines and whatnot. So, hope you join me for that. But this is the part where I say bye, YouTube, and uh, thank you for sticking around till the end. And consider doing stuff, I think, is applicable to the algorithm. I believe you click a button. I don't know. I'm sure you can find it. <laughs> uh, honestly, I'm running out of creative ways to say that. So, I'll just say thank you to those that have been doing that. And uh, we'll see you next time.